Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching 46 Okanin Monogatari, the Shinka Run, and we are in a semi-recognizable human form, and it seems to be kicking a lot of butt, unlike in EVO The Search for Eden, where it sucks a lot to be a human, because there's really no way to uh, save yourself, but I think we owe a visit to a certain saber-toothed tiger. Yes, I will save them this time. You hefted the sharpened bow. The saber-toothed tigers were startled and ran away. There we go. That's all we needed to do. Thank you. Thank you so much. 360 Evo jeans. Oh, and thank you for earlier. I'm still going despite my age. Thanks to you. We are really... All right. We're helping out the old folks. That's very good to know. So I think we want to maybe go up into this part of the continent now. Looks like maybe that's what we want to do. But let's see. We're about at 8,500 on most evolutions uh except for oh we could evolve pretty early let's go let's go full endurance and see what that does for us that takes us over to australopithecus which is definitely a term i've heard before I was able to run upright on two legs use stones and wood as tools my bone is not as impressive i have to say but i'm gonna go with it for now because i can take a lot of punishment now in my nominally human form so there we go. Hit that hit that geyser just right. So now we're going to venture through the snowy wilds of Minnesota. Let's Wow, boy, you have to be on point with this. I could very well faint from from a total inability to hit the to hit the pool just right. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, so let's let's take a dangerous journey across the land here. Okay. Wow, going in the water, probably a really bad idea. Oh gosh, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can make it. Am I gonna faint? Yeah, I don't. Okay, so there's no real benefit into going in here. Hopefully I haven't, hopefully it hasn't been too long since I saved. Uh, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm here and I'm back to being a Java man. So I don't know if I wanna go up into that way snowy area just yet uh okay i haven't received the evo genes because i loaded from a different point okay so let's go ahead and get back to where i was with that so where should i go then maybe this like nondescript looking lake no that doesn't do anything but this does seem to be a nicer direction it seems like there's more to life out here on the western plain so where are we headed from here what are we doing now that we've helped the old mammoth Seems like we're just making a trek to a new area, trying to hit, trying to hit pools of water so that we can survive. Oh, so here we go. Now the saber tooth tigers and the mammoths. The saber tooth tigers and the mammoths over here are probably extremely mad red and nude. So a mammoth attacks. Okay, so I fight it. I deal a ton of damage with my bare hands. Wow. Okay, mammoths stand no chance against me. What about saber-toothed tigers? And what about those uh, men walking around in the water? It looks like there are definitely hominids walking around over there. What have you got to say? I taste terrible, and I'm strong. You still want to fight? Okay, so we can become a yeti, or maybe meat yetis? By the by, where did I come from? The east? I'm from the south, or maybe the west. My tribe was done in by another tribe. Bodies all over the place. I really hate conflict. That reminds me. There's a village of herbivorous primates to the south. Give them a visit if you're free. They're a pretty nice bunch. I'll be here for a good while, so come by. You know everything about this continent. Yep, I'm still hanging around here. Yeah, sounds like a great idea. Especially, how many Evo genes am I getting from mammoths that are extremely easy to fight? 136 of these. So yeah, not really many places to... Well, there is that pool over there. If I can hit on it properly. I want to see how hard fighting a saber-toothed tiger is, but it seems like the mammoth is the one who's spoiling for a fight. So maybe... Alright. Looks like I've gamed the system to an extent. A saber-toothed tiger attacks. A tiger, yes. Very good. Okay, yeah. So I kick these things' butts, too. Wow, yeah. This is uh, really easy, actually. I take a little bit of... Uh, didn't want to check that. Uh, I take a little bit of damage, but... Otherwise, I'm doing pretty good over here. Uh, going to the right for vitality will probably send us back to Java Man. I kind of like the way Java Man looks better, so I think I'm gonna. 
think I'm gonna take that direction. Yes. Yeah, back to Java Man. Java Man is very cool. Although he doesn't know very much about cybersecurity. Go ahead and uh, spend the rest of these. I could go Endurance, I could go Wisdom. Uh, let's go a little bit into Wisdom so that my Desperate Attacks hit harder. And spend the rest on Attack. Yeah, baby, all in. I want to be a strong Java Man. There we go. All right, so okay, so it's a little easier to hit the hit the pools as Java Man. Oh yeah, Sabertooth Tigers stand no chance against me. So I do a ton of damage with that, but oh, my attack power increases when I use the bone, so it doesn't hit as hard, but I get kind of a semi-permanent damage boost. Okay, let's go. Can I go around the lake here? Okay, it looks like these guys, looks like we're just barely cut off from each other, so I'll have to find a way around to them. A great blaze enveloped me, thus inventing the first sauna. Ah, this is very relaxing. To the steam pools with ye, mammoth. Okay, I've been doing some jumping back and forth across the way. You can evolve into an orc on the whole left side of this tier. And if you could jump to the far right side, doing Vitality like I did, you could evolve into Java Kong, which is probably going to be far more gorilla-esque. An enormous species resembling a gorilla. Lived in family units deep within forests. But I'm a loner. I'm a drifter. I go my own way, baby. But we're not going to spend very long as a Java Kong. We're going to move down a tier to a Big Durthal. Is that a Neanderthal except big? Whoa! Lived deep within the mountains and forests, intelligent and gentle, but was unable to use tools. Well, that just increases my attack anyway. Moved their homes further into the mountains after being chased out by Neanderthals and others. So yeah, it kind of makes me want to get in a fight and see what happens here. Item? No, I can still, no, I can still use a bone. But uh, that should increase my attack significantly. Wow. Boy, an unlucky attack hurts, though. So now I'm just a big Durthal. Can I... I still am not immune to snow. You would think in this much tougher looking form I would be, but no such luck. But it's much easier to hit the pool now. And let's just dump... Whoa! Now we can go 10,000 in a direction. Uh, but I want to start pumping into endurance. Wow, this is a... This is an interesting little run right here. Alright, so we're gonna start going up into... Alright. Alright. It only does seven damage to me, yes. I was definitely made for this mountain man life. Now let's go through here. I think it's gonna take a lot of vitality to... Oh gosh. There is a pool I can hit, right? Uh, not so much? No? What's uh... I fainted. Oh boy, it's gonna take some real... Oh wow, that is gonna take a journey. Maybe I evolved too far though. Well, here I am, okay. So I'm still a big Durthal. Uh, snow still hurts me. What if I go... Alright, go here. What if I go south through the water bridge here? It does not seem to want to allow that. And also, nothing really wants to fight me anymore. I feel a little bit stuck. Do I have the vitality to make it through to the... Okay, what about you? You said to come visit you if I needed anything. Yeah, I'm still hanging around here. Yeah, okay. Anything doing in this little... Oh, okay. I just didn't see the... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Okay, so now... Forest fires ahoy. And a cave. Okay, let's walk through the fire. Through the fire and the flames. Alright, something sad has happened here as well. Don't eat me. We don't like fighting. We're a peaceful tribe. Okay, I wasn't going to eat you, buddy. Just calm your... Hold your horses there. Nobody's going to eat anybody. I'm just going to climb your vines, have some fun with you here. Are there Evo genes around here as well? Let's see what happens if I go up this cave. Oh, wow. Boy, they really enjoy living in the trees, don't they? Okay, so... What do you have to say? Wow, they are... They are skittish folk. I will say, but if I make my way up to the tree and maybe talk to the elder... 
Maybe the elder can do something for me. Our village's most precious treasure is behind me. I'll defend it with my life. Well, you probably won't have to do that. Surprisingly meek, the herbivorous primates are huddled together, looking at you anxiously. The one in the middle that appears to be the elder speaks... Uh, that's why I went to the middle, because that's generally where the elder sits. So could you leave here quietly? But as you're about to leave, the elder primate spoke again. Wait a minute. We actually have a request. Would you hear us out? I sure will. The carnivorous primates to the south pose a huge threat to us. They've eaten many of our tribe. Cannibalism? Me and my huge chest can will not let this stand. You look strong and have strange tools. What do you say? Will you destroy the carnivorous primates for us? Of course I want treasure, so I will agree to this. Alright. So I should be able to go inside and get whatever you have now? Yes, I will do that. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. So they'll give me the treasure after, probably? I, do. I thought they were going to give it to me in exchange for taking on this quest. Uh, but it looks like I will actually have to earn it, unfortunately. That's dumb. Earning things. What a sucker's game. Okay, so everybody believes in me. I've, I've really hyped myself up. Say, you wouldn't happen to have any... Uh... Oh, you're so alone. Wow, that is so sad. What else is sad is you won't get out of my way so I can climb down the vine and maybe get around this tree... Oh my lord, you are really going to force me into this door, aren't you? I just wanted to see what was down the vine. Oh my god. More of the story as ever. Children are annoying. My god. Okay. Wow, so he's still right there, huh? Okay, well at least I can get around him now. Okay, let's go down the tree manually. Oh, you can't actually do that. There's no, like, point in doing that. I should have guessed as much. Alright, so let's go out this way. These people really are sad. They have no Evo genes that I can steal. Oh, wait, no, they do. They have tons, probably. Oh, no, that's just a weird healing spot. Okay, whatever. So my next mission is to keep the carnivorous uh, primates. Is this a... Okay, that's some kind of weird invisible boundary. Okay, so the next mission is to keep the carnivorous primates from cannibalizing the herbivorous primates. Everybody should just be able to live the way they want to live, right? I think so. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we're up against. Who is down here? Hello? Anybody home? Oh, hey, what are you? You are a Neanderthal. You look about on my... Oh, yeah, this is a very even matchup. So, yeah, okay. Once I get the desperate attack, it takes the defense. Okay, I think I'm going to use this time to recover. Alright, unlucky. Ow, unlucky's hurt a lot, but I am way on top in this case. So I'm just going to keep going. And I got, I really get 200, how much did I get from that? I didn't pay attention to what my totals were at before. Okay, let's see, let's see what we got going through here. A little flying guy. A Gorgon? What? Okay, what happens if I fight you? Receive 17, 20, ooh, no. Yeah, I'll say I managed to escape. That's that's bad news all around. How about you? Another Gorgon? Oh, I couldn't get away, so it's... Okay, this time I managed to give it a slip. But I might not always get so lucky. That's okay. Okay, we're in really weird times now. So if I go back up the way here... Okay, snow still hurts. Yes, I don't want to go through the snow. So I don't feel like I have a lot of uh, choices as to where to go. And not a lot of recovery spaces either. Okay, so if I go down here... Oh, hey, another cave. Could just kind of cut around to this one. That's a good idea. What do you want? This territory belongs to the great carnivorous primates, says Giant Ground Sloth, eh? You're gonna get chomped hanging around these parts. Uh, actually, I think it is you who is going to get chomped, a buddy. All right. I feel like someone climbed the vines here a bit ago. Well, did they now? Uh-oh! Dinner time! So, okay. Yeah, no way getting around those guys, so I'm gonna have to climb a vine. Okay, let's see if there are Gaia hearts hidden around here. Okay, yeah. So, they just like running into me. I think they're designed to... Okay, you can, uh... Don't eat me. I'm not one of the carnivorous primates. I'm actually one of the herbivorous primates. I'm just in here to spy. 
<laughs> These guys are pretty horrible. Yeah, they're fast. They get. They, but I figured out their weakness. They're afraid of this thing. It's that warm thing called fire. I don't look like I'm much of a fan of fire either. I haven't seen any fire lately, though. I used to see it around here and there. Okay, so I gotta go back and see the Yeti. He Maybe he know about fire. He said he knew everything about these parts. If only I could... Okay, yeah. So that guy gets lost in thought, and I can't go down the steps or anything. Boy, I'm just taking it on all sides, aren't I? They are... Okay, this is annoying. How about you get out of my way, carnivorous primate? There is literally no way to escape... Okay, not literally no way. But, wowzers, that's annoying. So, yeah, I guess they're annoying by design. So I need to go back and see... I need to go back and see the Yeti, who knows everything. He's got... He knows the score. Especially where fire is concerned. Alright, so I'm gonna go up there and talk to him. The carnivorous primates. They're deathly afraid of fire, and that volcano to the southeast has been pretty active lately. Okay. So I need to go find a volcano in the southeast. Uh, where would the southeast be? The map is not particularly helpful, but maybe I can just go through here. Wow, boy, everything is really close together and compartmentalized in the, uh, in the chapter 5, the fifth of chapters. So I'm going to go up the mountain here with my body that is clearly not equipped for heat spaces, and I'm going to learn how to make fire, maybe. I'm going to fight a Javacon first, though. Uh, I should be able to take that on fairly easily. Yeah, it's just going to defend and not do anything too terribly terrible. So, yeah, I can fight these guys. So everybody here is trying to learn how to use fire. Okay, desperate attack, that's good. Uh, it's taking a defensive stance, so I'm going to go ahead and recover while I can. Alright, and while I'm resting, it attacks, which is the death of it. Okay, and I come out on top. A net gain. This looks like the important part of the volcano. Eh, it's just a really cool arch. Oh well. Uh, anything else? Okay, that thing looks mean. It's got a tail of all things. Festus attacks. Festus. That's weird. Okay, it's a little stronger than the other things, but that's okay. It's not its not scaring me. Alright, the Faistus has gone away. Ah! The young, not-formed mountain is spitting fire. You get closer to the mouth and transfer the fire to a stick. You've obtained live coals. You always want your coals live. In the studio, they just don't have the same magic. Uh, but you want to you wanna use your live coals to maybe fight a... Homo ex dinosaurus. Oh, so there's two different evolutionary tracks here. Maybe if I had gone the other way, I would be one of these weird things. Okay, yeah, still a little bit powerful. I'm still not terribly scared of it. So I have fire, so now I can go back to the carnivorous primate cave, but not before taking a little time to see where I go on the endurance chart. Um, let's see. I feel like I should probably take hits and hit harder. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go evolve a lot of endurance. So yeah, now I'm a Neanderthal. I'm less less obviously Yeti-like. A fairly solid figure. Yeah, not a six-pack. No keg either, though. Discovered in 1856 in a cave found in Dusseldorf, West Germany. And then let's uh pump pump a lot into attack there and then i'm gonna take some wisdom there we go a little bit unbalanced at the moment but i like my neanderthal form so let's get back to the carnivorous primate cave and show those guys give them fuel give them fire give them that which they don't desire <laughs> all right back here let's see what we can do now that we have fire do we get into fights and that's what we use to scare them off What's that hot thing? Ah, ha, ha, yes, get away from me. Yeah, y'all are gonna be sorry. Wait, who, what? The frightening carnivorous primate boss lives up ahead. He's a grand ape that gives us as many leftovers as we can eat. So I should be able to make it, okay, yeah, now that they're kind of scattering, it looks like. Looks like I might uh, be a little better off around here, but I kind of want to investigate dead end. Okay, this is a hill that I come down later. Probably after I've seen the big boss man. 
Okay, yeah, so up we go. Up we go to, up the vines to Grand Ape Town. But I want to see if there are guy. Yes, there are Gaia Hearts. Yes, okay, yeah. I know you're sorry. I Always forgiven. But I just want to get to your... Y'all, I know there's tasty grapes, but I want to eat Gaia's grapes. They're the ones that sustain me and give me life. There's one. 1,040. Yes, please. I will take that. I think that's the only one I've seen so far. But yeah, they seem to be a lot less in my way now, which I have to say, I very much appreciate. That was the height of annoying earlier. Let's go ahead and go up. Yeah, now we can go up this way. I think we can probably head up the way here. Yeah. All right, let's see what the big carnivorous boss has to say. Uh, can I go across the trees? No, that must be where they get the grapes, even though those are coniferous. Well, this game is weird, though, needless to say. Yeah, don't come near me. You should do a little better job of scattering for the Neanderthal man who has the fire that commands the respect. I think I just went in a giant circle. Congratulations, me. <laughs> oh, I'm supposedly intelligent. Okay, so here's the boss. I just missed him somehow. Oh, hey, he avert your eyes, children. The frenzied carnivorous primate boss attacks. Use the live coals. Flames dance in front of the boss's eyes. Ah, yes, I do know magic. I'm the great David Copperfield. We won't need anyone else anymore. And do me another favor and put some damn clothes on. Have you heard the legend of Shambhala? I have not. There's a massive tunnel beneath the surface that leads to paradise. I hear a kind person in the northern snows knows where the entrance is. Well, okay, we're reformed now, so, so why not visit him? So I guess it's back to, okay, what was that now? Shambhala? We won't do anything bad anymore? Have you met the kind person? Yes, I have. He seems to be quite knowledgeable. Uh, maybe the Yeti, and maybe that's Gaia. Maybe Gaia's just hanging around giving me all the tips. But we'll have to go hear the legend of Shambhala elsewhere. We're going to stop here for right now. And next time we'll go visit the Yeti again and figure out where else to go.